How are you, New Zealand? Great to have you along here. Now, look, we're going to really help you get the most out of your home entertainment. If you've got HD at the moment and your TV's basically already set up, you may as well benefit from it, right? A lot of people just sit there and watch rubbish uh, reception on their televisions and don't do anything about it. You don't need to. We've got Tuki in the studio. Thanks for joining me, Ro. All right, how's good it going? Good to have you here. Very, very good to have you here. Thanks. Um, and he's going to tell us all about the differences between your standard TV and Blu-ray and how you can really benefit from the advantages of some really high-quality home entertainment. So, tell us, mate. Why Blu-ray? So, why Blu-ray? Um, most people, so if I grab this, yes. so most people, you know, will be used to DVD. Yes. Okay. Uh, Blu-ray looks very, very similar. Right. Uh, but the main difference is you get high definition. Okay. Okay. Which means better picture quality. Okay. Yeah. So is that what we're seeing over here? We've got like a bit of a split screen there. That that is correct. So what we've done here is we've done That's a comparison clever. between DVD and Blu-ray. Right. So on that side, yeah, DVD and. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it's that's much, really much that's a on that huge side. difference, isn't it? Yeah, th that's huge correct. difference. So, okay, how does it, why is that? What's the difference there? So, DVD, uh, most people will know it as standard definition. Right. Okay. So standard definition. So that's the one that viewers are seeing on their left at the moment, on the left of your screen. That's standard definition. Correct. Right. Um, and. All the newer TV all come as high definition. Gotcha. So Blu-ray gives you high definition. So unfortunately, DVD is still standard definition. Right. You won't be able to make the most of your TV uh -huh. from a DVD. You Excellent. need a Blu-ray. Got you. I yeah. see. Okay. So Blu-ray is the way to get your high definition Absolutely. really good. Okay, Absolutely. Cool. Um, and it's it's the why is it called Blu-ray? Because I understand the lasers blue. Yeah, or that, that is correct. Like, so right. it's just the the type of laser light. Right. Is actually a blue light. And that's um, what allows the difference in quality. That, that's correct. Also, like uh, Blu-ray uh, can store more information. Oh, okay. Okay. So on DVD, they might look like the same disc, but right. actually a Blu-ray store more information. Ah. So that's why you can have really good picture quality high definition, right. but also really good high quality audio. Ah, so, okay. you know, if you have a really good sound system at home with surround sound gotcha. and things like that, uh, Blu-ray will also give you the best sound quality out of your system. Okay. So that's another good thing to know. So, uh, can Blu-ray players do more then? Of course, of course. So the, the good thing with Blu-ray players is they will accept DVDs. So if you have a big collection uh, okay. of DVDs, that's you good. can, you know, play your DVDs inside your Blu-ray player. Right. So, uh, for example, sorry, I'll just... No, it's just, okay. Go. Um, I've got a massive pile. Now, I've actually got a Blu-ray player at home, Great. right? <laughs> and I love it. I do. I love the quality. And I got one when they were new out and they were really expensive. expensive They're not yeah. so expensive now, which is good. Um, but I had a load of... DVDs, yes. right? That from my old DVD player, so I can actually use those on my. Blu Absolutely. Well. So you don't need to have two players. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, one more thing, also. Sure. Is if you didn't know, the PlayStation Three also have a Blu-ray player built in, right? Yeah, exactly right. So if you're thinking Excellent. about getting a Blu-ray player, you know, either get a player Great. if you want a gaming console for the kids. Excellent. And also a Blu-ray player for your movies. There you go. That could be a good, so good choice. So the kids think they're getting the presents. But really, it's the adults, That's right? Correct. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's what I it's like all about. You work. Okay. Yeah. So, how does Blu-ray actually make things better? So, it's the the information that you get on the actual disc. Yes. Okay, because it has more information, which is called high definition. Got you. So it gives you a sharper image. Okay. okay. So if you were looking really close between the two images, yes, you will see that the Blu-ray gives you sharper images, more vibrant colors. Yes. That's how it makes it, you know, got much you. better. So, oh, yeah. so the viewing experience is much more enhanced. Therefore. Exactly. And That's same right. for the sound as well, right? Absolutely. So my Blu-ray player, for example, has like a surround sound component built into it, right? So it's <laughs> yes. like I'm actually at the movies when I'm watching this stuff at home. Correct. Right? Yep. So it really, for me, it just, I mean, personally, I don't really watch a lot of TV, but I, I watch a lot of movies because I just, I love movies. Exactly right. So if you love movies, you definitely need to give Blu-ray a go. Excellent. So either, you know, going to your video store, getting Blu-ray, or either buying Blu-ray now instead of buying DVDs. Brilliant. Yeah, so that's Brilliant. Good. Okay, cool. So look, for more information on this, guys, go to the shoppingchannel.co.nz, click on the Heinz banner, you'll H-E-A-N-Z, it stands for Home Entertainment Association of New Zealand, right? You click on that and you, they all go through to their web page and, and be able to get a bit more information on how all of this works and how you can get some of this uh, great benefit in your own home. Now, 
3D is a whole other story altogether, and this is something that I haven't had the chance of experiencing for myself yet, apart from at the movies, but you can have this in your own home, right? That is correct. Okay. So now you can actually get like Blu-ray players that will play 3D, so you, wow. you need to have Blu-ray as well. DVD doesn't support gotcha. 3D. Gotcha, okay, cool. So another reason why you should upgrade to Blu-ray. There you go. Uh, so yeah, if you do have a Blu-ray player, but also you will see like some of the movies, the newer movies, it will say Blu-ray Blu 3D, 3D. That, that's yeah, correct. Look so, at that, even a dummy like me can figure that out. Exactly, right. so as long as it says 3D on it, it will support it. Gotcha. And and the other part of the chain that you will need is the TV. So okay. you do need to have a 3D TV as well. Right, okay. So it okay. needs to support that. So do you also need glasses then as well, right? Correct, which is what I've got here for you. Oh, look at this. Okay, have a look at these. These are not like your normal <laughs> 3D glasses that I've seen before. When I've gone to the movies <laughs> and watched a, uh, a, a, a 3D movie, did I look this cool? <laughs> Hell no. no. <laughs> I, I looked more like Buddy Holly when I was wearing them. Can I take these to the movies? Uh, unfortunately, no, you right. can't, okay? Because they are a different technology. It works a bit differently. Exactly right. Okay. So the way you have it at the movie and the way you have it on TV is a bit different. So you can't use you know, one glasses for the other. Okay. It is recommended that you use the, you know, the glasses from the same manufacturer. Gotcha. Okay, so then in that case, I couldn't do the other, do the reverse as well and bring home the ones from the cinema. That is correct. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, so PlayStation 3, you said, supports the Blu-ray. Are there yes. any other game consoles that have got the uh, not Blu-ray? Not at this stage, I'm not okay. too sure. Cool. Uh, the other thing with the PlayStation is also it supports 3D as well. So if you have 3D, wow. it will, yeah, 3D gaming and 3D Blu-ray, the PlayStation supports that. Excellent, look mm. at that. These guys have thought of everything. <laughs> so, okay. To have all of this, what are we going to need to, to get set up with our Blu-ray 3D in, in my place, for example, because I don't have 3D at the moment. Do you have a PlayStation or no? No. Okay, so if you don't have a PlayStation, uh, so either you'll need to get a PlayStation or a 3D Blu-ray player. Okay. And you'll need to get some 3D Blu-rays gotcha. or 3D games. Okay. Uh, and then you'll need to get a... 3D TV. That right, so the high definition. Yeah, so high definition 3D TV. So right. maybe half of the TVs today are 3D. Like oh, okay. You wouldn't realize that. You like if, when you go and buy a new TV, actually half of them are uh, 3D, 3D compatible. compatible. Right, That's right. Okay. brilliant. And then right. some 3D glasses. Yeah. Excellent. So that will be the setup that you need. Excellent, okay. So being 3D, now this is a question I've always had. <laughs> is it going to affect when I'm normally watching a television program that's not in 3D. Okay, so okay, so there's different things. So the the good news is, with a th like for example, right now we're not watching it in 3D. So a 3D TV you can still watch in 2D. Right. Okay? So if you want to watch normal TV in 2D, you can do that if you gotcha. want to. If you have DVDs you want to watch in 2D, you can you can do that. That's no worries gotcha. at all. Uh, the TV can also do simulated 3D. So if you w want to watch TV gotcha. in 3D, you could switch it to simulated cool. 3D. So. Okay, cool. Right, this is what you do, guys. You go to the shoppingchannel.co.nz and follow the link through it there through to the Heinz website, H-E-A-N-Z, and you'll be able to experience all of this for yourself and get the information that you need. Stick around. More products great coming up.